Greg and Rick's man in the camera. We're from Sunnyside Chevy and Sunnyside Sports Muscle Classic. We want to talk to you a little bit about the 66 Nova, 65 Nova Fute, forgive me. We took this car on trade on a new Camaro. It's an excellent build. It's really a nice car. It was start, the car was done in Wapakoneta for a lot of its life and it was not completed. One of our local gentlemen bought the car and finished the car out, put a new motor in it, put an interior in it, and finished the car to the level that you see it now. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the goods. I'll point out a couple of very minor, but very minor bads in the car because we, at, at this store, we like to we like to share both. We want to make sure you know exactly what you're looking at. But the first thing I'm going to say is that the paint quality on this car is outstanding. It was done to a very high level. It's a very very nice paint job. And it's an all steel body, no questions asked. The one great thing about this car is everything you see on the outside, it's finished the same way underneath and it's finished the same way in the engine compartment to a very high level. As you walk down the car, you're going to see body lines, you're going to see excellent fit and finish, beautiful set of wheels, four wheel disc brakes on this car, okay? Very nice fit on the door, the doors open and close very easily. As we work our way back, no ripples. If you look down the side of this car, it's very, very straight. Well done all the way down. I told you I'd give you the good and bad. It's my opinion that this bumper can be pulled in about an inch by doing something with the brackets. We haven't done it yet. We haven't gotten to it. But if you pulled it in just a little bit, it would change this area in the back. But it's really done well. Push button popper for the trunk. Trunk is carpeted, it's fully done inside, it's ready to go. Battery's mounted in the back and it's is good. And there's also ports on the outside of the car. The release again for the trunk is right down there on the license plate. We come around to this side of the car, all real well done, same tires, wheels, again, four-wheel disc brakes. I don't know that this car was born as an SS, doesn't matter the way the car was done, it's a resto mod. Again, same finish, same fit, all the way down. There's no scratches on this car. There's no imperfections in the paint. Door closes exactly as you would expect it to. We have a mirror for here. There's two holes. It hasn't been mounted yet. It is painted the same silver as all the trim on this car, which is done to a very nice level. The other thing that I would point out on this car, this door gap on the driver's side gets a little wider than you'd like it to on the bottom, but it's the way these old cars fit and the way they went together. It doesn't detract from the car and certainly doesn't hurt the car when you look at it and you look at the way the car is done. Coming around front, pop the hood. There's a very complete set of pictures online. I know that you've had access to them. Um, ATK crate engine, 425 horsepower, 470 foot pounds of torque. The original firewall tag is in the car. I haven't decoded it. Um, headers on the car. Again, the tie-ins, everything done very well, and you've seen the underside pictures. I'm going to fire it up so you can hear the engine run, and then Rick and I are going to take it for a quick run. Quicksilver Shifter B&M, full digital dash, tilt wheel. The interior in this car is done very, very nicely. It's got a nice radio in it. Again, the silver trim has been carried into the interior in the car. Carpet, door panels, seats, all done to a very nice level. Very tasteful color combination. And this is a great driving old car. The car does not have power steering in it. It has four-wheel disc brakes. You never miss the power steering, obviously, just like it was when we were kids. When you're in the parking lot, you're working a little bit to turn the car. Right out here on 57. We haven't quite fully warmed the car, warmed the car up yet. It's about 135 degrees water temperature, as you can see. Idles at about 800 RPM as we're coming up. Digital speedometer reads accurately. You got volts and you got fuel. Car showing 596 miles, which I believe is total since completion. Uh, of the restoration. We're not we're not always resto mod guys, but when we saw this car we knew we were taking it on trade and we're glad to have it because it's a car we can be proud of. Goes down. 
dashed on the gas in this car because I don't know it well enough. I haven't driven it enough, but 